channel for those you don't know me my name is Tiana Bui and welcome to my first video of this channel and also of this series and so what this series is is more trying to try new sustainable products that are coming out there because it's kind of coming at a rapid pace right now but the question is should we use it or shouldn't we because we all know it's all marketed up and it's kind of like I want to help the world but I don't know if I'm gonna pay like 300 times the amount of what I can actually get and so I'm here to like break down more not just the product itself but also the company and sharing more about what they're doing from what I can find. <laughs> What I read online, I found that this brand was carbon neutral certified, which means that the amount of carbon emissions they're emitting are being offset by projects they're contributing to that soak up about the same amount of carbon from the atmosphere. This means their emissions per year equate to zero. Something that I really like is that they originally just send you like a glass jar and then when you need the refill, I'll come into compostable packaging. I wish that there is something where you don't have to buy the original jar to begin with, that you can just buy the compostable packaging with the toothpaste because as we test on a little bit after this, there is a brand that I'm trying that it only comes in a bag, but talk about more of that later. <laughs> Okay, so off to the test part. Already when I opened it, it smells really good. To check to see if this actually cleans my teeth, we're gonna try these dental disclosing tabs that I found on Amazon. Okay. I'm gonna take one of these tablets. You're supposed to just chew on it, and after you chew on it, then you go in with your toothbrush to like clean it out. So overall, that was honestly pretty cool experience. It didn't foam so well and I'm 100% sure just because it's not foaming so much like what we think of soap to be doesn't mean it's not cleaning. My teeth definitely feel so so clean and refreshed and also just knowing that it's made with natural ingredients kind of just makes me feel all the better in terms of what I'm putting into my body. This brand in particular, I couldn't find any that had fluoride in it and um, if you were to read online, people talk about toothpaste having or not having fluoride because humans can only have this certain amount of fluoride per day and sometimes if you're getting a lot of fluoride from other sources then it might not be necessary for you to have it in your toothpaste to build the enamel since you're getting it from elsewhere I would want something that has more fluoride in it because yeah I need my teeth <laughs> for when I get old So a little bit in terms of sustainability with this company is that 60% of their operations come from renewable energy sources within this past year. And that means within all their operations of developing their materials and their products, 60% of the energy that they use in total come from renewable energy sources. And another thing is that two out of seven of the manufacturing and distribution facilities are basically zero waste. And another thing that I found that that was pretty cool is that by 2050 they aim to be carbon neutral it does come in a plastic container but if you do look at it it is plastic number one meaning that it is made of PET and that is a plastic that is highly recyclable and so I feel like as long as you're able to recycle this afterward then that should be a-okay mm, and smell it it smells like spearmint true to its flavor Whoa. Okay. It tastes like baking powder. It's really bitter. <laughs> hey. Mm, it looks pretty clean, right? Got all the blue out there, so that's good. We know it's doing its job in cleaning. <laughs> Overall, tastes not 
so great maybe something to get used to um but i don't know if you noticed when i was brushing my teeth it was foaming so much i think when i was first chewing on it i coughed a bit because it kind of overflowed in my mouth a bit and so i had to make sure i brushed it right away but like if we're comparing the prices to the other ones so far it is a little bit cheaper and i feel like it's more available so you can always just like go in and grab it instead of having to always purchase it online and maybe having to pay for shipping. So in terms of sustainability, when doing some research on the company, you can definitely tell that right away there's not so much of a, I guess, sustainable mission that they have, which is totally fine. Like. Not every company um, has that ingrained into their business strategy yet, but they do say that they source a lot of their materials and their ingredients responsibly. And um, what does that even really mean? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think that just says something um, that since they are being sold at a lot of different places and they're pretty big, maybe it's the time for them to start trying to disclose a little bit about what their environmental impacts are. This is another reason why I wanted to try this brand today is because even though it's being sold at a lot of different places currently, you know, it might make it think that, oh, this is probably the choice that I should go with, especially if it's sold at Ulta, my red or dad beauty store, you know what I'm saying? But um, if you actually look back at the company, seeing what they're doing, those are the questions that you should ask yourself if it's really aligning to the values and the morals that you have. It is made with a tin container and similar to the Lush one, that means if you're not reusing this tin can, that means that this would go to waste. But on the container as well as looking online, you can definitely go and recycle this as well. So what I do notice when I first opened the product is that there is a big, huge cotton ball right on top. And I mean, I understand it makes me think about the medicine containers that have a lot of little pills in it. And then they put a cotton ball there. So if you were to try to take it out, it won't spill. But it's actually quite interesting because if you take out the cotton ball, there's tablets that are way huger than the ones that we had the last two days. And so I feel like it doesn't even really need the cotton ball there. And then also it's just like waste of cotton. Like hopefully they source this responsibly, you know, cause that's what they're saying. Cause with cotton, y'all know about cotton. It uses a lot of water and then it's like pesticides that go with it. It's not organic and all that good stuff. Um, and so that's definitely something that I feel like they really don't need. But given this a sniff, definitely wow okay it really smells like a candy cane since this is the peppermint flavor but okay to give this a try i'll go and put in my handy dandy blue pill that makes my mouth beautiful yeah <laughs> okay mm. Cheese. Is it clean? Yeah, so particularly for this one, I would definitely say one, yeah, my mouth feels so clean. They honestly all feel so clean, which is so surprising considering it's not like a paste and that it's powder. And I don't know the chemistry behind all this, but it's pretty damn cool. I would have to say the initial taste of this, it's like so neutral. Probably like the best tasting one that I've tried so far. Definitely the Lush one from yesterday was like a bleh. <laughs> um, but this one definitely tastes a whole lot better. What I can tell you is that it does foam up a lot more than the Bites one. But in comparison to the Lush one, the Lush one by far, it was kind of like foaming out of my mouth, which is what I'm used to when I'm brushing my teeth. But for these, it's kind of nice that it stays within your mouth. Again, this one is made with uh, synthetic and natural ingredients. I think it's more on the natural ingredients side. So something to know with this product is that it's certified in so many things. And when I say that, I only mean like about three things, but one, it's certified in leaving bunny, meaning they don't do any cruelty on animals. Another, um, they're certified in this organization, BDIH, and that is a nonprofit in Germany where they basically test a lot of different cosmetic products to see if they uphold to the standard of what would be deemed as natural. And this product definitely does. Another is that it was certified by this other Germany organization. I cannot say its name, it's too complex for 
my brain but it's basically um, they test a lot of dental hygienic products and since they have the certification it means that it is safe and effective to use one more thing I'm gonna mention about this is that it did say that they were receiving a lot of customer feedback on their teeth getting whiter and they have something on their website that responds that like there's a polishing agent in this toothpaste this is probably like the most zero waste out of the ones that we tried you know because because even with bites, you get a jar first, and then the ones after, only if you subscribe, you get the compostable refill. But with the other brands, Lush and um, Hello, they do come in a, a container each time. But this one is just always a bag, so that's kind of cool. I would say the only thing is that if you are gonna travel, you probably wanna make sure this isn't something, and I bet you have a container that you can store this in, you know, because we all have so much. It looks pretty clean. <laughs> okay, so I just have to let you know that face that you saw was because the thing about this one is that when you bite, it like literally turns into powder so quick. And so if you're gonna try this one, then you have to make sure that <laughs> you definitely don't like inhale or else you're gonna like choke a little. But, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, I'm someone who like loves mint so much, so I enjoy it. But out of the other ones, you know, while I was using it, this one definitely had like the strongest like mint flavor in my mouth like after I brushed it. Like all of them tend to have that effect but this one is like the strongest overall. Um, another thing that I just like love about this like I mentioned before is that it has fluoride in it. My teeth need the enamel. So here it is, the final end table. Now you can actually compare and contrast which one you feel like would be best in your lifestyle, looking at not only the cost, but also about the companies and then what they're doing in terms of sustainability. So with that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was really fun learning about what the companies are doing behind the scenes in terms of sustainability and being able to try out this I don't say, I don't really think it's like a fad, but like this new upcoming generation where we have a lot more sustainable products out there. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're actually interested in trying any of these products, I definitely linked it down below, as well as where I got the sustainability facts. So you can take a look at that yourself. Also comment below if you have any other toothpaste tablets that you're actually interested in trying. And if, if you're interested in trying this as well, I'd love to hear what you thought of it. If you want to see more of me, please hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. And I can't wait to make more content for you guys. And until next time, bye.